Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I feel like I'm hiding behind a box playing peekaboo. Today I have my Grove Collaborative, which is kind of different. Usually I have all of these makeup boxes and then I will stop and do a Grove Collaborative box with all of my cleaning stuff in it. But this month, I did not need a lot of the cleaning stuff that I keep in rotation because there's some overlap and I had some left. So while I do have a couple of cleaning things in here, I took the opportunity, since I didn't need a bunch of them, to try something different and I ordered a lot of makeup. I have become so aware of all of the things that I'm putting on my face, all of the makeups that I'm using, the ingredients they have in them. And I thought, you know, for day to day, when I'm not doing a lot in the summer and I'm not taping, I would share like a kinder, gentler makeup that has fewer of those things in it that you just wish you weren't always putting on your face. So I have some of that in here in the means of Burt's Bees. So I have right on top their Summer Fun in the Sun a Worry Free Grove Collaborative pamphlet. And it doesn't tell me what I have. It's just telling me like what they have new for summer and things you can purchase like the new, their the lines they're carrying in their sunscreens now or the summer scented Mrs. Myers, which I did not know about, or this would be chock-a-block with it, or some vitamins. They have a lot of new products coming out. But let's get in here and see what I got, because I did this a couple of weeks ago and I don't remember. So let's dispense with the boring stuff first. This is the Method Daily Shower that I get almost every month as long as I don't have a stock up like I do now. I also use the Method Shower Cleaner, but I did not need more of that for this month, so I just have this. They pack it all so well with all of these papers to keep everything safe and sound. I'm going to go ahead and dump everything out of here that's left because it's, <laughs> it's all super small stuff. And now we can dispense with the box. Okay, the only other rerun, so to speak, that I have this month is this Larry's Coffee Free Rider Decaf. I get it in the ground because, let's be frank, I'm too lazy to get through the trouble of grinding my beans. This is so good. I only buy one a month and I use it like it's a treat. Like on those days when you just need a little extra boost in the morning and you know that your regular coffee is just... This is so good. And I always try and convince myself when it's running low that it's just not that different. And I go back to my regular coffee and this is so good. And my husband says every month, why don't you just get four of them? Well, because it's $12.99 and it's only 12 ounces. So it's not even a pound. And that's just a real indulgence. I'll probably get there. I'm just not yet because it is fair trade, USDA organic. I get the decaf and they decaffeinate it just through a water process so it's really good for your coffee made in a really nice way but I only get one <laughs> everything else now is new this month I got a baby Gannix this is huge I had no idea this was going to be this big and it is the eczema care skin protectant cream and it is eight ounces and one of my granddaughters has a little bit of eczema and I thought that this would be fun to try it's worse for her in the summer the chlorine from the pool they think makes it a little worse and I just thought that would be a good thing for her to try let's see it's sealed, so since it's not for me, I'm not gonna unseal it, but I suspect it's just a nice thick cream. Let's see what they say about it on the back. All of a sudden we've turned into a makeup unboxing video. Colloidal oatmeal, 1%, and they say that it's good for rashes and eczema. External use only. Apply as needed, massage into baby's skin, and we're talking about not a baby. She's a nice young lady now, especially after bathing for use on mild to moderate eczema or as directed by a physician. So here's hoping that helps. Yay! Next, the last thing I have before we dive into the makeup is I got this for free because when you are a V... I didn't even tell you what Grove is. Let me tell you a little bit about Grove. So Grove Collaborative is a customizable auto service shipment that you can make come as often or as irregular as you'd like. You can have it come every month. You can pause it, hold it, you have to be in charge of it, but you have complete control. And what they deliver is all natural home, beauty, and personal care products. I generally have it come once a month, but sometimes I do have it ship early if there's something like one of the new Mrs. Myers since that I think, yeah, I can't wait two more weeks for that. I have to have it sooner. So you have complete control over it. 
And I joined VIP because as long as you order $15 worth, it ships for free. And like they say four times a year, you get a little extra product, but I find that I get free items so much more. And some of them are just because you're a VIP. And some of them are because if you order over a certain amount or order a certain product, they ship you a present. And that's how I have what we have next. I've put my link below if you have any interest. When you sign up, you do get five free products. Generally, there are three Mrs. Myers products like the hand soap, the dishwashing liquid, and the counter cleaner. And then the two other products vary. And there are different things in their line that they use to give you. And the thing that I received free this month, and I think because I ordered more than $59 worth because, you know, I got makeup, is this nice full circle of the ring veggie brush. You know what a veggie brush does. It's recycled and natural bristles are tough but gentle and it has a bamboo handle that lets you clean with ease. And it's just a nice wooden handle veggie brush. That will definitely get used around here. Okay, I'm gonna show you all of this makeup and then over the course of the next couple weeks, I'm probably gonna come back in and do a full face of it so we can all get a great idea of if some of the more natural products hold up. Okay, so we'll go through the face. I got the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup with Responsibly Sourced Meadow Foam. It is a one ounce container and I got it in 1010 Ivory. You know, I can't even tell you the last time I just randomly picked a color online, but this is what it looks like. And I got the 1010 Ivory and it looks like I did pretty well. That's where I just put it on the back of my hand. I have a little bit of summer sun going on so it might be a little light now. That's it, just now that I rubbed it into the back of my hand. Let's see if we can. Oh, she's a little light. But, oh, that's not my favorite smell. Hmm, we'll see if that goes away. Oh, but it smoothed right in, so the color's gonna be fine. I don't know if you can tell, but it smoothed right in. What is that smell? Well, we'll have to see about that. I'm here to tell you. I don't know what the scent is, but it is not my favorite scent. But that's what we have to try for foundation. And what they say about it is that it is their full coverage of mineral, mineral formula, and it leaves the skin smooth and radiant with a natural finish that's not heavy or greasy. Felt a little greasy. Their moisturizing foundation instantly hydrates and nourishes skin with Metafoam seed oil. That must be what the scent is, and it must be one that I don't know. We'll have to see if it lingers. It doesn't seem to. It's known for its skin moisturizing benefits for naturally beautiful results, both inside and out. Formulated without parabens, phthalates, SLS, or any petro petrolatum products. So, we'll give that a try. It's pretty good. And then next, I got the concealer, and it's the Burt's Bees Concealer that conceals dark circles, blemishes, and minor imperfections, instantly brightens the eye area, and it moisturizes with avocado oil. It's ophthalmologist tested and dermatologist tested, and it's formulated without any parabens, phthalates, SLS, or petrolatum. And that's what that looks like in its packaging. Let's, I got 1075 Fair. Oh, I had to rip into that and make a fine mess to get it out, but there it is, we win. Let's see how 1075 fares. Oh, looks pretty good. Feels nice, it's really smooth. I find that I'm using the Fenty under my eyes now and it's a little thick. It's nowhere near shape tape thick, but it's a little thick. I find as I get older, I have to avoid the thicker ones. This feels nice. Do you see the color where I matched it? That feels like it's gonna be a really hmm, nice match. Can you see that where I just put it right there? I think it's gonna be nice. Of course, I'm putting this over several layers of makeup and powder, so I'm sure it's gonna look completely natural. It feels nice though. It doesn't have that unusual meadow foam smell, so I like that. And the beauty of this is this color is close enough to my own natural skin tone so that if I have any other redness issues, see with my Fenty, I can't do that because it is white. I can put this anywhere on my face in theory. Excellent. Next, I have the Burt's Bees blush in 1210 Shy Pink. And this is what that looks like. So like I said, I bought a full face because if I'm gonna take a day off and I want it to be good for my skin, I want all of it to be good for my skin. 
So we get it open. And that is what it looks like. It's a really pretty, oh, there we go, that's better. It's a really pretty pink because I'm shy pink. This is the 1210 Shy Pink Blush with Bamboo. And let's check the colors on this. Oh, it feels nice and creamy. I was worried it would feel too dry. It does, yeah, it does have a little bit of fallout. Oh, that's pretty. That's just a really, hope you can see that. It's just a really basic pink right here. That's gonna be a really nice pink for me. Excellent. I'm very pleased with that color. It has just a small, small amount of shine back to it. Love it. And then I have the Burt's Bees Countryside Lavender Eyeshadow with Bamboo. And this is what that packaging looks like. All right, and when we get it opened up, okay, so we have our all over. This dark one's gonna have to be our transition because this has a shimmer, so that'll be nice for on the lid. But that should make a really nice basic lid. Let's go ahead and, let's, they feel nice. They're a little powdery, but they're pretty creamy. You can see that from light to the medium to the dark. So that should make a pretty nice eye. We'll see. And then I have the Burt's Bees Visibly Longer Lashes Nourishing Mascara. Long lasting with jojoba oil, 100% natural. I got it in 1305 Classic Black. And it says on the back that it is the Nourishing Mascara and their brush and formula work together to instantly give you visibly longer lashes and definition formulated with jojoba oil to naturally moisturize and glycerin to nourish your lashes for beautiful results inside and out. Gentle on the delicate eye area, safe for sensitive eyes and contact lens wearers, ophthalmologist tested and formulated without parabens, phthalates, SLS, or petrolatum. Well, let's go ahead and get in here. This is what the mascara looks like. Let's see what the brush looks like. We can take this out because I'm gonna do a face of it soon. Oh, it's just a nice, really basic brush. No extra lumps or bumps or curves. And last but not least, for my lip, I chose the Burt's Bees Watermelon because I'm all about the watermelon this summer. It's their lip shimmer. And watermelon is the color. And this is what that looks like. And let's get this open. Oh, this is an easy peasy one. Definitely the easiest thing we've opened today. Of course, now, of course now it's stuck to me. And let's see, it's supposed to be a lip shimmer. So I'm not thinking it's gonna be a lot of color, but that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, it goes on kind of like a balm. And as I go back and forth, it's building, but that's it right there. It's so pretty. Oh, it's very minty. Oh, it's, oh, I can't have to trust me. It's this, it's this right here. Hope you can see it's really shimmery and shiny and nice. I'm gonna like this a lot, whether, no matter what makeup I have on, I suspect. So that is what I did from the Grove Collaborative this month. I just did one of my little cleansing things. My go-go juice, which I don't even know why I say that because it treats me half. It's the experience, it's the smell, it's the warmth. The Baby Ganix Eczema Cream, this lovely vegetable brush that was free, and then a full face of Burt's Bees makeup. I got the foundation, the concealer, the blush, the eyeshadow, the mascara, and the lip. So I, in theory, can do a pretty casual look with products that are better for me. And if I don't like all of them, hopefully I'll like a lot of them. But I will be back in the next few days and we'll do a try on with these products and we will see how they go on and I will come back and we'll see how they hold up. And tell me, if you're a coffee drinker, what's your favorite coffee? I'm telling you, this one even smells good through the packaging. What's your favorite coffee? And if you don't drink coffee, what's the morning beverage that gets you going? Let me know. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I am back with more videos. And I'll see you guys really soon. And we will do a full face of this Burt's Bees makeup and see how it holds up. Bye, guys.